Good morning, everybody. Um, here is your Go Math Lesson 5.5 for today. Um, I'm going to start off by apologizing for my voice. Um, I'm losing it. It's going away very fast. Um, but I am going to try to speak up as much as I can, and this is probably the best I can do right now. I don't think my voice will get any louder than this today. All right. So section 5.5, use equations to represent problems. So write a story problem that could be solved using this model. So we have a model. In this model, we have, in this model, we have blank plus nine equals 15. So if we write that out before I even start reading what the problem says, this right here, is the same as this blank plus 9 equals 15 this is the same as this okay all right let's keep going how can the model be used to represent an addition or subtraction problem well if we say empty box plus 9 equals 15, we have to find out what goes in the empty box. And a way we can do that is we can subtract. We can do the opposite of adding. So we can do 15 take away 9 equals empty box, right? So let's draw a problem representing that. We can say uh, uh, Amy, I just made up a name. Okay, you can come up with your own problem or you can copy now mine. Amy has some, and the reason I said some is because we don't know what the first number is. It's an empty box, right? So Amy has some pens. <clears throat> so Amy has some pens or how about this uh, let's do colors she has some red pens so I'm going to erase this okay and then I'm going to say red pens Amy has some red pens, period. She also has not, now it's not some, now it's nine, right? She also has nine blue pens <coughs> Amy has some red pens she, she also has nine blue pens she has 15 pens all together Okay, she has 15 pens all together, A-L-T-O-G-H-T-E-R. So she has 15 pens all together. Now, what's the question? She has some red pens. She has blue, nine blue pens. She has 15 all together. The question is, trying to find out what's in the empty box. So the question is, how many red pens does Amy have?
okay? And then you're gonna solve that problem. So what goes in the empty box? What is 15 take away nine? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, six. So let's put that in here, does that make sense? Six plus nine, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes, that makes sense. So our answer is nine red pens. And then you always box your answer or circle it. Very good. Okay, I know that's kind of sloppy because I'm writing with my mouse, but I want you to try your best. You can either write my problem or you can make up one on your own. If you want to write mine, you can pause the video now. Okay, moving on. Okay, moving on. A number sentence can be used to show a problem. There are some girls and four boys at the playground. There were nine children in all. How many girls were at the playground? So the empty box is a placeholder for the missing number. So whenever they say some, you always draw an empty box, okay? So, five plus four is nine. So there were how many kids at the playground? How many girls? There were five girls, right? I'm gonna show my strategies because Miss Yusuf doesn't like it when I read a word problem and just leave it empty. So let's do that, do that again. There were some girls, some, you have to circle that, okay? That is a key word for an empty box. And is a key word for add, box it. Four, that's a number, circle it, boys at the playground, that's a label. Four what? Four boys. There were nine, that's a number, circle it, children in all, that's a key word, that means equals. How many girls were at the playground? Okay, and we said some plus four boys equals nine kids, that means five plus four equals nine. All right, let's move on. You're going to use an empty box for the missing number, and then you're going to solve. So there were, you have to show your strategies <laughs> on all of these. There were 14 ants on the sidewalk. Then six ants went into the grass. How many ants were still on the sidewalk? There were 14 ants on the sidewalk. Six went into the grass. So there's 14 and then six went into the grass. That means they went away. Some, some went away means subtract. How many ants were still on the sidewalk? We don't know. So we're going to put an empty box. And then we're going to solve. What's 14 take away six? You figure that out and put it right here, okay? Let's look at number two. There were seven big dogs and box it. Four little dogs at the park. How many dogs were at the park? What does and mean? And means add. There were seven big and four little. So how many were there all together? Figure it out and then draw the answer or write the answer here. All right, that number two was really easy. Uh, let's see number three. There were 13 girls flying kites. Some of the girls went home. Then there were seven girls flying kites. How many girls went home? So at first there was 13 and some went home. So they're going away. So some, some went away means subtract. So there were 13, some went home. We don't know how many, so we're gonna draw an empty box there, right? And now there are seven girls. So how many went home? 13 take away what is seven? What's 13 take away seven? Six. So let's see, would six work here? Is 13 take away six, seven? 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven. Yes, it is. So the answer is six. There were 18 boys at the field. Nine of the boys were playing soccer. How many boys are not playing soccer? 
if there was 18 boys and nine were playing soccer, so let's take away nine, how many were not playing soccer? The number in the box is the kids that are not playing soccer. We write that answer here. Okay. Make sure you're showing your strategies like I am, okay? Make sure you're circling the numbers. Make sure you're boxing the keyword. Make sure you are underlining the question, okay? All right, let's watch Professor Berger. <clears throat> Okay, let's keep going. Um, very good. Um, let's read number five. Make sure you show your strategies. There were some ducks in a pond. How many? Some. Do we know how many some is? No, we just know that some means empty box. So there were some ducks in a pond. Four more ducks, four more ducks joined them. Then there were 12 ducks in the pond. 
how many ducks were in the pond at first. So we don't know. We just know that there were some, right? And then we know four more. That means plus because more means add. Four more. And then there were 12. So how many ducks were at the pond to begin with? How do we find out what goes in that first empty box? Isn't this a fact, family? Can't we do the opposite of addition, which is subtraction? 12 take away 4 is what? Eight, very good, eight. So eight plus four is eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Good job, 12. So how many ducks were at the pond to begin with? Eight, excellent job. You have to write this down, guys. You have to write this down, okay? You have to show your strategies. Matthew found 13 acorns. He traded four of his acorns for seven acorns that Greg had. How many acorns does Matthew have now? Well, he found 13, but he traded four of those 13. So what is, he had 13, he traded four of those 13. So what is 13 take away four? Nine, very good. So nine were not touched, but four were exchanged. Four were exchanged for seven. So then he exchanged that four for seven. So now he has nine, and then he has seven from Greg. How many does he have now? Well, it's nine, take away seven, nine plus seven. Sixteen. Good job. Sixteen. So he has sixteen acorns now. What I did is I took Matthew had thirteen. He traded four. That means he got rid of four. So then he had nine. But then he got seven more because he gave that um, he gave Greg four and then he took back seven. So then I add nine plus seven and I get sixteen. It's a multi-step problem. It's not very hard. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to do seven. 8, 9, and 10 by yourself. You will show your strategies. You will show me your work. What I mean by show me your work is if it says sum, you're going to put an empty box there. If it says take away or plus, you're going to do that. If it has another number, you're going to do that. And then you're going to write the third number after the equals, whatever the number may be. Okay? I don't know what number 7 says. I didn't read it. But I'm saying this is what I mean by showing your work. Okay? All right, guys, have fun learning math. Take your time on this. It's going to take some time. You might have some homework. That's okay. Take your time. We are going to have the math test tomorrow, so make sure you are really understanding this, okay? When you are done with 7, 8, 9, and 10, you will do the yellow page by yourself. But before jumping to the yellow page, listen closely. When you are done with number 7, 8, 9, and 10, you're going to skip the yellow page for now, and you're going to jump right to the purple page. You're going to do the purple page next, and then Miss Selena is going to go over it with you. So you're going to do it first by yourself, and then Miss Selena is going to do it on the board, and then you're going to check your work and make sure it's right, okay? You need to do that today so you have something to study for your test with. And then you can go back and do the yellow page if you have time. And if you don't, then it's going to have to be homework. I am going to personally make sure that these are graded. So make sure you do them. If you don't, you're going to be having recess work. Please do it, okay? All right, guys, have fun learning math. If you have any questions, let me know. And please study for your test today, okay? You have a test tomorrow. It's really important. All right, bye. See you later.